Hello, I'm Ali Cookle and today I'm here with Jacinta Rose to take a look at what's in this week's stock journal. Some parts of the Eyre Peninsula have received their first significant rainfall of the season, but it's a far cry from what is needed for some farmers to start sowing their crops. The Norris family at Rudell have nearly worn out the online weather sites looking for rainfall forecasts as they wait for the season break. And if it doesn't rain soon, it'll be the first time the family have not sown a crop. Let's hope the skies open soon. The deregulation of bovine yoni's disease management hasn't come without confusion for many South Australian beef producers. Despite consultation from Animal Health Australia and PERSA, many producers are still in the dark about the new biosecurity changes. Producers are encouraged to develop an on-farm biosecurity plan for BJD and other diseases. Those who have trenched their digital ag foot in the soil have inspired 18 to 35 year olds at the annual Innovation Generation Conference. Held in Adelaide this week, the key message was putting digital into farming practices and how it would benefit the industry. Delegates from across Australia and New Zealand participated in three days of workshops and keynote sessions in Adelaide. For more agricultural news from across the state, make sure you grab a copy of this week's Stock Journal.